An international group of astronomers has discovered large disk galaxies akin to our Milky Way that must have formed on a rapid timescale, only 3 billion years after the Big Bang. This spectacular discovery is a major breakthrough in our knowledge about the nature of galaxies in the young universe. It was made possible through the use of a novel and unique instrument attached to ESA's very large telescope, located at Cerro Paranal in the middle of the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. Over the past decade, astronomers have established a global framework of how galaxies formed and evolved when the universe was only a few billion years old. Gas of ordinary matter cooled and collected in concentrations of the mysterious dark matter. Since that time and up to the present epoch, collisions and mergers of galaxies subsequently led to the hierarchical build-up of galaxy mass. This general picture leaves open, however, on what timescales galaxies were assembled and when and how bulges and disks, the primary components of present-day galaxies, were formed. A major study of distant luminous star-forming galaxies, the SIN survey, has now resulted in a major breakthrough on these questions. The astronomers have been able, for the first time, to obtain well-resolved two-dimensional images of the gas motions in distant star-forming galaxies, whose light has travelled more than 11 billion years to reach the Earth. The observations reveal a large and massive rotating protodisc that is channeling gas towards a growing central stellar bulge. The high gas surface densities, the large star formation rate and the moderately young stellar ages derived from these observations suggest that the system was assembled rapidly by fragmentation and star formation in an initially very gas-rich protodisc. With their large rotating and gas-rich disks, these very young galaxies have properties quite similar to our present-day Milky Way. Well, we used uh, Symphony, which is a new uh, novel instrument on the ESO uh, Very Large Telescope, which we developed over the last years. Now, Symphony is an instrument which combines the modern techniques of adaptive optics on the one hand and imaging, integral field spectroscopy on the other hand. Adaptive optics allows us to correct for the damage the Earth's atmosphere is doing to, to images and deblur the images and make them as sharp as they can possibly get through uh, uh, physical optics on a big telescope. And integral field spectroscopy allows us to get such images for many, many spectral channels at the same time. So you get colors, so to speak, detailed colors uh, in, the, in these images. And that allows us to really study the motion and the shapes of the images. In great detail. The unique Symphony spectrograph was built by the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics, NOVA in the Netherlands and ESO. It is installed on Yepun, the fourth 8.2 meter unit telescope of ESO's VLT. By making use of the adaptive optics technique, the Symphony observations achieved an angular resolution of 0.15 arc seconds, allowing the astronomers to resolve the very distant and young galaxy in unique detail. Such a prowess will in the future become routine. Now in the future with the new instrument Parsec that, we, that will be coupled with Symphony, that will enable us to generate artificial stars next to any galaxy we want to observe. And so we can really dissect these galaxies in detail, anyone in the sky we wish to look at. Well, really, this is just the beginning of a, of a new story, I would say. I mean, we now can really study how galaxies formed and evolved in the early universe in, in much greater detail than uh, previously formed. And there already are great surprises, like uh, if we find big uh, disk galaxies like our Milky Way, which weren't supposed to be there uh, based on theoretical considerations. So obviously, many people, including us, will follow this up. And this will be a, a, a new technique now, which I'm sure in, in 10, 15 years from now will be used on ever bigger telescopes like the class of 30 meter class telescopes, which will be built in the future. So uh, this is the beginning of a new era. <laughs>